The Linga Purana, Linga Purana IAST, Linga Purana is one of the 18 Mahapuranas and a Shaivism text of Hinduism. The text's title Linga refers to the iconography for Shiva. The authors and date of the Linga Purana is unknown, and the estimates place the original text to have been composed between the 5th to 10th century CE. The text exists in many inconsistent versions and was likely revised over time and expanded. The extant text is structured into two parts, with a cumulative total of 163 chapters. The text presents cosmology, mythology, seasons, festivals, geography, a tour guide for pilgrimage, a manual for the design and consecration of the Linga and Nandi, stotras, the importance of these icons, a description of yoga with claims of its various benefits. <laughs> Date and structure The estimate composition dates for the oldest core of Linga Purana vary between scholars, ranging from the 5th century CE to 10th century. Like all the Puranas, the Linga Purana has a complicated chronology. Cornelia Dimit and J. A. B. van Butenen state that each of the Puranas is encyclopedic in style, and it is difficult to ascertain when, where, why, and by whom these were written. As they exist today, the Puranas are a stratified literature. Each titled work consists of material that has grown by numerous accretions in successive historical eras. Thus no Purana has a single date of composition. It is as if they were libraries to which new volumes have been continuously added, not necessarily at the end of the shelf, but randomly. The Linga Purana survives in many versions, consisting of two parts, the Purva Bhaga older part, sometimes called Purvarta with 108 chapters and Atara Bhaga later part, sometimes called Uttarada with 55 chapters. However, the manuscripts of the text assert in verse 2.55.37 that the Atara Bhaga only has 46 chapters, suggesting that the text was expanded over time. Some scholars suggest that the entire Atara Bhaga may be a later insertion or attachment to the older part. The text is titled after its theme, that is the worship of Linga, and the text is primarily focused on Shiva as supreme. However, along with Shiva related themes, the Linga Purana includes chapters dedicated to Vedic themes, as well as includes reverence for Vishnu and Brahma. Contents <coughs> <coughs> Linga, states Alain Danielu, means sign. It is an important concept in Hindu texts, wherein linga is a manifested sign and nature of someone or something. It accompanies the concept of Brahman, which is invisible signless and existent principle, is formless or linga-less. The Linga Purana states, "...Shiva is signless, without color, taste, smell, that is beyond word or touch, without quality, motionless and changeless." The source of the universe is the signless, and all of the universe is the manifested linga, a union of unchanging principles and the ever changing nature. The Linga Purana text builds on this foundation. The Linga Purana consists of two parts the longer Purva Bhaga and the shorter Atara Bhaga. They discuss diverse range of topics, and illustrative sections include Cosmology The text presents cosmology in several places. For example, in early chapters it refers to the Shvetashvatara Upanishad, and in chapter 1.70 it presents a Samkhya type cosmology. Astronomy The Purana presents its theory of Sun, Moon, planets, and stars in the night sky in chapters 1.55 to 1.61, with the mythology associated with each. Geography The Earth has seven continents asserts the text, and it then names and describes the mountains and rivers, what grows in various regions, the text woven in with mythology. Tirtha pilgrimage, the holy cities of Varanasi, Kedarnath, Prayag, and Kurukshetra are extolled in chapters 1.77 and 1.92, for example. Yoga and Ethics – The Linga Purana discusses Pashapada Yoga and Ethics in many sections, such as chapters 1.8, 1.88–1.89, 1.18, 2.15 and others. The Linga Purana is notable for its aggressiveness in retaliating against those who censure Shiva, suggesting in chapter 1.107 that Shiva devotee should be willing to give his life to end the censorship of Shiva, if necessary with violence against those who censure Shiva. In Chapter 1.78, the text also emphasizes the virtues of non-violence, stating, "...violence should be avoided always, and at all places." The Linga Purana's ideas incorporate, states Stella Kramrish, those of the Samkhya school of Hindu philosophy. 
The chapter 1.17 of the Linga Purana introduces Linga as pradana or prakriti, cosmic substance, while Shiva is described as lingan or one with this subtle body. Linga is presented by the text as an abstract concept, contrasted with alinga vyakta, along with its phallic significance and sexual truth in nature's process of life creation. The verses of the text, states Kramrish, presents linga as an anaconic symbol of both the matter and the spirit, the prakriti and the purusha, whereby the powers of creation, liberation and annihilation are symbolized by the icon. References Topic Bibliography Dimit, Cornelia, Van Butenen, J. A. B. 2012. Classical Hindu Mythology, a Reader in the Sanskrit Puranas. Temple University Press, First Edition, 1977. ISBN 978 one 4399 464 0 Cramrish, Stella. 1994. The Presence of Shiva. Princeton, New Jersey: Princeton University Press. ISBN 9780691019307. Dalal, Rosen. 2014. Hinduism: An Alphabetical Guide. Penguin. ISBN 9788184752779. K. P. Geets, et al. 1992. Epic and Puranic Bibliography up to 1985 A Note and with Indexes, Part 1, A, R, Part 2, S, Z, Indexes. Otto Harrisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-03028-1. Roche, Ludo The Puranas. Otto Harrisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-025225. External links Linga Purana, Part 1, English translation by J. L. Shastri Linga Purana, Part 2, English translation by J. L. Shastri